Today we're going to talk about drum recording, room acoustics, and reverb. <laughs> The recently viral wiki drummer video from Audio Zero shows a drummer playing the same beat on the same drum kit in many different locations, emphasizing the acoustic differences between the spaces. Every surface in a space reflects sound. If those reflections are far enough apart, we call them echoes. If those reflections are very close together, we call it reverb. Thus, it is the number, location, and material of a room's reflective surfaces that determine its sound. Some of the video's more open spaces, such as the highway field at 30 seconds, have little to no reflective surfaces in sight. Thus, there is little reverb, and most of what you hear is the dry drum signal. On the other hand, the abandoned garage at 23 seconds has high, hard concrete ceilings, giving the room a powerful, long, ringing reverb sound. In the auto garage at 37 seconds, you can hear the quick slap-like reverb coming from the close walls, as well as the metallic nature of the walls coming out in the reverb's tone. In some settings, such as the large concrete basin at the start of the video, the walls are so far from the sound source that the reflections coming off them are no longer perceived as the same sound and are instead heard as separate echoes. From all of this, we can draw some general conclusions. Surfaces made of harder materials tend to be more reflective and give off a stronger reverb, while surfaces made of softer materials tend to absorb the sound, giving off less reverb. Surfaces that are further away have a longer reverb time and pre-delay time, and vice versa. In fact, there are researchers such as Wallace Clement Sabine who over a hundred years ago did reverb calculations that we still use today when determining and studying room acoustics. So as this video makes clear, you can achieve a wide variety of different reverbs and spatial sound effects by utilizing different acoustic spaces. Here are some spaces we found around the school. Try this yourself. However, if you're recording more than a single drum, it might be difficult to haul your instruments around to different spaces to record. Not to worry, you can still take advantage of these acoustic spaces by recording your original audio as dry as possible and then playing back your sound through your speaker in the space you want. Then just record the audio. 